culture, uh, the whole thing is that culture and language tend to become traps. And yet, they can be the platforms for enormous freedom if you understand what it's all about. And what it's all about is you. You are the center of the mandala. You are not marginalized in any way. And the message that the culture gives us is that we are marginal. It doesn't matter whether you, if you've got a hundred million dollars, Fortune magazine will inform you that so do 10,000 other people on the North American continent. There's nothing special about you. It's, and so we are constantly, this is part of the democratic legacy. We are constantly told you're not special. Special isn't special. Anybody could do it. What the psychedelic, and so then when you look for guidance, direction, mentorship, we always look toward institutions. Well, I'll go to the university, or I'll go to the army, or I'll do something. Somebody will tell me, will give me a larger purpose. But it's really yourself that is uh, the final arbiter. And if you keep yourself as the final arbiter, you will be less susceptible to infection by cultural illusion. Now, the problem with this is that it makes you feel bad to not be infected by cultural illusion because it's called alienation, you know? But this is, I, I can't solve all problems. The reason we feel alienated is because the society is infantile, trivial, and stupid. So uh, the cost of sanity in this society is a certain level of alienation. I grapple with this because I'm a parent. And I think anybody who has children, you come to this realization, you know, what'll it be? Alienated, cynical intellectual, or slack-jawed, half-wit consumer of the horseshit being handed down from on high? There is not much choice in there, you see. And, and we all want our children to be well adjusted. It's unfortunately, there's nothing to be well adjusted to. So uh, that's a real problem. It's almost like we've been inoculated here for this culture. Yeah. Terrence, 